another episode of Beast Geeks. Welcome back to State of Decay. Oh, this will be know, our we didn't second check, one. We didn't check the file. That doesn't matter. We'll check okay. it later. Okay. If well, it sucked, then we're going to have to do two more episodes <laughs> worth and start over. Wednesday or something. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't matter. <sighs> All right. Let's do a game, everybody. Um, and so there's a moral issue for some reason. Um, oh, yeah. You can't save right morale, now. Morale. Sorry. Morale. Yeah, the, there's no save. It automatically saves whenever you exit the game. Okay. Um, so it's like most MMOs, then. Most MMOs leave pick up right where you left off. That's so awesome, dude. Good Why would you need horses? You, uh, you don't actually have horses here. The, it's, it's, the uh, uh, it's just character traits. Um, oh. So like each character actually has character traits. Um, I'm a horse trainer. So like, okay. Uh, she is a gospel, loves movies, uh, asthma attacks, uh, has asthma books, attacks, and chronic fatigue um, oh that's terrible yeah but she she just stays on the on the radio so she doesn't have to oh, radio, okay so she doesn't have to do that. much uh, i was gonna say if she's like in a zombie apocalypse so her whenever actual you, whenever you level up to the next level it's like mm -hmm. prestiging you pretty much lose all of your building and stuff that you did yeah but you get to keep all the items that you have in your chest thing i got you then um okay. and you only keep the character that you're playing as when you prestige mm -hmm. and you keep her uh lily I'm okay. Sorry. I was pointing to him, but y'all can't see it. Yeah, y'all can't um, see it. Keep so basically, her, Lily. Yeah. Um, and y'all two just ride and die like throughout the entire game. Oh, that's cool. Um, but she's actually she hates you right now. Yeah. <laughs> in the in the story. She line, hates you. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the storyline, you actually kill her father. Oh. So at the very beginning. Um, Is it because her dad turned into a zombie? Yes. Okay. Um, and then so like this dude, he's a team player, likes gardening. Um. Bumble, Trump, Trumble local. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Trumble is, is the area that you're in right now. Okay. Um, horse, trainer horse trainer and natural and athlete. Natural athlete. Well, that's a, good. That's good. Because it means that his traits. Uh, so horticulture is actually up, but that means that like he has the um, whenever you have natural <coughs> athlete, you yeah. get the ability to be a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. So it makes it where you don't stagger as much. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, the more you level it up. Yeah. Uh, and your friend, only friend that you have right now is construction dude, apparently. He's a mechanic, which is good. You always want yeah, a mechanic. Yeah, you always want a mechanic for this stuff. And the reason why is because you can actually repair your vehicles. I got nothing left. Yeah, I was going to say, your vehicles take a lot of durability. And over time, yeah. you actually will run out of vehicles in this game. Oh, you will? Yes. Like, they will not spawn anymore. Yeah, they don't respawn at all. Oh my god, that's, so, that's, that's, saying, that's shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like, you, you build that's some fucked up. different stuff. Zombie so horde uh, alerted. I love how you just did it before. That's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. I know you also want to at some point play Days Gone, but you gotta remember that's like 60 bucks. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying that. Yeah, I'm not either. I'll, I'll wait like three years and let it go down. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm patient when it comes to games. Yeah. I learned that lesson the hard way. You wanna know why? Why? Uh, so I waited about, I would say maybe a year before I bought, um, it's a or not. Batter. Batty. Um, I waited about a year before I bought Fallout 4, mm -hmm. and so I got it for 40 bucks instead of 60. Yeah. Okay. And I bought it the CD version. Okay? Yeah. I literally went to GameStop and bought the CD version. Like for it, yeah. To upload it on my computer. Okay. The old-fashioned way. Yeah. Instead of downloading it. Yeah. And so the very next week after I bought it, I was on Steam. And Steam was like. It was on sale on Steam. For like. For like at the time like 30 dollars. Uh -huh. So I could have got 10 dollars even less. Yeah. And then now, recently, it was like the summer sale or whatever. Uh huh. I didn't even do the summer sale Dude, stream. It was I on but I didn't. sale. For like, I think it was 15. like ten or fifteen dollars. Jesus Christ, man! And I was just like, "What the crap?" But I mean, it, I put, I gave it. Money I was gonna worth. say you gave, I it, I, you gave Fallout Four's its money worth because you freaking really put off like hundred, like well over a hundred, yeah, five hundred something hours worth. Yeah. Because it this said game, it said literally on your Steam account like uh, how much how many hours you put into uh, it. This uh, I don't know if it's actually recording this or not. Um, uh, it probably isn't, but it might. Total hours is 212 on this game. Oh yeah, you've spent 212 hours on this but game. It just this, doesn't have any of your file, any of your data because we're playing on my computer. No, no, that's that's true on this account. Um, yeah. But we're also playing this because you wanted to play. You wanted to play. I don't. Uh, no, no, no. 212 hours is exactly how much 
um, I've actually spent on this game. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, the difference between Based other games account. and this game is that this is not a waiting game, really. Yeah. Um, there is some waiting time, but it's not that much. Yeah. And, um... Honestly, I try to see how you even have that much free time to ever spend that much, uh, on it now. You have had this account for years, I know. <laughs> Since I was in middle school, I, I was gonna say, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, you're tired. I forgot one of the things was that. Uh, take the survivors home. Yes, I will, but I want to search this place over. Let's see if the coffee maker is intact. <laughs> right? I need it. Uh, it's I'm like you in real life. Materials. I know. I'm, I'm, I was going to say, you, do you still consume coffee like a freaking maniac? Uh, I could if I felt like making it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've seen you um, literally get that gallon-sized coffee, and then I'm like, dude, that is like got to be absolute garbage for your body. No, it was vegan. Oh, it was? Yeah, it was vegan coffee. It had like no dairy, I don't think. In it. Oh, that's. It was How like almond, do that? It was almond milk. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Almond milk. I don't care for that. I'm deleting it. <laughs> what, the car, uh, crowbar? Yeah. That was a rusty pipe. Oh. <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell. Honestly, it looks like a paint job now. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, that looks too much like a regular, like, intentional paint job, not like random splatters of. Blood. Ooh, do they have all kinds of stuff? They have a bubble van. A what? A bubble van. What the heck is that? They have American flag car as well. What is a bubble van? Uh, it's like the van just has bubbles. Oh, bubble over. van. I yeah. thought you said bubble ban. I was like, what the heck do you mean a van? Uh, you have to search pretty much every location in this building before you can make it an outpost. Uh, which is what I'm doing right now. Right, I was so gonna I searched say... everything and now I'm gonna make it not an outpost. Company okay. Coming, stay sharp. You did not fully search the location before establishing an outpost. What did I not search that? You didn't search. I searched the world over and thought I found true did you love. Not, did you not go Sends into the building? Hand. Like, I mean, oh, into no, the other it. part? It's oh, fuel. this place? Fuel? It's fuel. Search the fuel tanks. Which, you only use fuel for like cars. Um, no, actually, you don't actually worry about fuel in this one. The second one, you do worry about fuel. Ah, uh, okay. Um, the second one, you do have a fuel for your, um... I'm loaded up. See you yeah. back at base. Yeah. Yeah. Roger that. Yeah. We'll be waiting. Good job, post. Come on. You must be in the building to set up an outpost. <laughs> So just because you're just slightly on that end, right? And like that's, that so, was that's a little aggravating. That you're less than half. You're less than like ten feet from it. That counted like though as, as part of the post. search. Yeah. I so feel that, like we just got You sure about this? That really doesn't make sense. Let's make this Who knows? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I am so tired today. Like I'm so tired. I'm so tired, and I don't know why. Did you sleep well last night? No. Well, I actually know. I, I slept horribly last night. <laughs> The dogs kept waking me up, or your parents kept waking me up, because they kept... Like, nothing against them, it's just like your dad wakes up real early to go to work, and turns on the lights in the living yeah, room. Yeah, he, uh, he actually had to go to work today. He doesn't normally... I was gonna say, normally he doesn't... Normally I'm not awoke by that. Normally I'm awoken by your ne niece and nephew. Or one of your nephews. And at least your one niece. <laughs> But, but the main thing is your freaking dogs. They love... I, I love that your dogs love to snuggle up, because I love snuggly dogs. But your dog... I'm on a little couch that can I can barely move around in already as is. When two dogs literally get into the... Like, if I get into a comfortable position, I like... In my sleep, I like to turn and twist a little bit, a few times. Or if I'm, like, trying to get to sleep, I'll turn into this to get more comfortable. I can't do that when two dogs are literally in, like, the spots where if, if I move, I might accidentally crush them. <laughs> That's what your dogs always do. And I even sometimes, I'm like, I love you guys, but you gotta get down, and I'll pick them up, put them down, and of course what you think the first thing they do is jump right go. back up. Thanks. They're like, huh? Sweet. We got some new survivors going. Oh, that's cool. See, oh, this is another reason out. you need to finish that house, so, we can so I can just sleep on your couch and not worry about anything. Not worry about no kids coming in, not worry about no dogs coming in. Yeah. Oh wait, are y'all having Oreo sleep in there? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing my very best to not season. let that happen. Okay. <laughs> Is Hunter wanting Oreo to sleep in there? I think so. Uh... So I'm just like, no. Uh, did did not... you just tell her no? Yeah, I'm like... Well, I mean, I'm, you're the one I'm, building it, exactly, so I mean, yeah. Exactly, this much work and money into it. I'm like, I don't want yeah. no big dog up in there. Yeah. I mean, Oreo's not a huge dog, but she's at least... She's big enough for staying outside. I don't want a dog outside. at all in there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, 
I mean, Considering I'm, how much work you're putting into it, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so uh, right now, I'm, the ones that are red, they're already there. You just have to uh, fix them up, pretty much. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And then here, or here, or here. Yeah, so For always, sure. whenever whenever you're building a garage, which mm -hmm. is the uh, mechanic shop, it's the, the basics of it, mm -hmm. um, always build them outside. Okay. Because wow. once you get to a certain level of a garage, <clears throat> you can't yeah. level it up anymore because it's inside. Okay, so if it's outside, um, it's always... You can always build it. You can always uh, level it up more. So if it wasn't... If you accidentally made the mistake of leaving it inside uh, you and upgraded would it, destroy, would you have to destroy it? You would have to destroy it. And, and all that building it. material that you spent in it... It goes away? It goes away. Oh, that's such garbage! No uh, wonder this game is kind of old. Yeah, it is old. Um, I love it. it uh, I know it, you it's, love it. It's, it's forgiving. Because you have over 212 hours on it. Of course you have to love it. Look, it's very forgiving because that's the map. That is very forgiving. That's not a huge and every single little dot... Is a place that you can pretty much go to and search. Yeah. For that's stuff. Not, oh, that's cool. So it's not like there's no empty buildings. So is that like the city ish? There's a few empty buildings, but they're not that many of them. Yeah. What I mean is like there's no buildings that you can't enter. Just about. Like most every place is an interable? Just about. Okay. Uh, there's like a few small places here and there that you can go in. Yeah, but they're like the ones that kind of. They're the ones that it doesn't matter as much. Like, why would I want to go in there? It looks ratchet. Yeah. It looks like there's nothing in there anyway, like, so what would I these, these, are, these are actually trailers right here. Uh-huh. You can't go in. Okay. Um... Mm, hey, hey, hey. Um, let's see if I can change characters, because this dude's a little sickly. Um, Will he take care of himself when you switch? Yes, if you have a medical bay, which I don't yet. <laughs> um, and so I he might just die? switch to this orange hair. Will, will, he, will he might just die? No, he doesn't. Not from Is that. it switching? Uh, Alright, so, uh, switch. There See, we go. That's switching. That's how your consciousness switches. Now I'm this chick. Oh. She's dressed and ready to go for this zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Incendiary. Um, it's actually kind of cute for a 3D model. Mm -hmm. they, they at least know how, to they know how to make their 3D models look good. Take all the bullets. Okay, and then... Uh, I don't really want to bat. Sharper weapons are easier to use, but their durability aren't normally as high. Yeah, I figured um, that. Do you want a sledgehammer? Or a crowbar? No. I would definitely use a crowbar in a fucking zombie For, apocalypse, because it's both metal and, and heavy ass durable. Powerhouse, dude, I would. Yeah. Or if uh, these characters' fighting experience was higher, I would as well. You ever wonder why crowbars are... Well, I don't. It's not really a wonder why. It's just like crowbars are just such a stereotypical zombie apocalypse weapon. It's just because like to break a crowbar is so much harder than video games make it seem. Durability on a crowbar is insane, and it's hard ass metal, so it's already doing way more damage than a bat would. Mm. Like a bat may do damage, but yeah, a fucking solid, I, solid steel crowbar or iron is, is a crowbar made out of steel or iron? Uh, it's made out of steel. Okay, yeah, so a solid steel crowbar. I know the vibration from all that would do more damage on your hands, but, like... That's what I'm saying. Uh, that's the difference between a baseball bat, but if you have a wooden baseball bat and you tape it, you'd be probably better than a aluminum baseball bat. Huh. What if you put either tape or gloves around your hand uh, before you were doing the crowbar? You'd have to have padded gloves. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Just very padded, like heavily padded? Or just, like... Thick leather. Yeah, that's true. Work too. Um, I mean, you got you got to think. The softest point to actually like kill somebody is their throat. Yeah. And that's not gonna work with a zombie, personally. I would uh, aim for the. I would aim for a throat because then it's gonna go for head. You gotta get decapitation. Well, to break a. Like I, I don't feel how hard. I don't think it would be super hard to like break a zombie's skull. If you like hit it as hard as you can with an upward, upward, come down swing of a crowbar, I think you pretty got a good heavy chance See, of at least cracking the skull open. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so these places. Oh wow! I've delivered to places like this so much, <laughs> and it's so surreal to see that in a video game and be like, oh yeah. Dude, they have. No, they have. How they uh, look? Easter eggs here. Look, I'm 
back up. I wish okay. there was a waiter Easter egg in this game. <laughs> no, this, this is too old with it. Waiter I know, I know, I know. Waiter didn't even exist until this. That would be um, so funny. No, there's a Plants, uh, plants vs. Plants zombies. zombies. Easter egg. It's in the backyard of one of these houses. Is it one of, like, is it like a sunflower plant or something? Is it like, it collects sunflower, it collects, uh, sunlight. But love no, how you know it, exactly there's like a lawnmower and everything. I love how you know exactly where it is. Or at least just like, kind of where it is. It's in this town, I know that. Yeah. You're just looking for Is it a sunflower? It might have been. I know they had lawnmowers and they had like a zombie that was permanent. Yeah. yeah. I haven't played in Plants vs. Zombies in years. Oh, this is another one of those temporary home places. Okay. Um, so we could have moved here. In, in the storyline, this is the first house that you get into. Okay. It's actually but you're going out. You're going out the story. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing the story. Okay. The, uh, that's why we did breakdown because this is like the uh, more of a freestyle. Free style. Style. Okay. Uh, and it's prestige. Kind of prestige. Uh, the because the the storyline it's um literally once you beat it. Mm -hmm. you, you you have the choice to continue like you didn't beat it, but you don't get to expand past where where you beat where you beat. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, I, I hate it when games do that. I like games that like once you finish it, you can kind of go back or start from like right before you beat the last boss. That's that's how it is. It's like right before you beat the last boss. Oh well, that's fine. That's how I normally do it. That just and makes I me stronger what, before that I last, do it. That last round of the boss thing was very difficult, and I had a bunch of crap. <laughs> Um, How many times have you beaten them? Or have you only beaten the story? Only once. You just prestige like a million times. Yeah, I've, I've played Breakdown a lot more than the story. Yeah. Um, what about the military here? one? Uh, the military? I'm still playing it. I haven't oh, okay. really gotten that far. Okay. Um, I feel like that'd be an interesting The concept. military one, it's basically you're going around and you're having to save people. Like, oh, okay, people. that's cool. Uh, and then... Uh, like there, there's sieges and stuff on your on your base. Mm -hmm. So like here you have. Um, this game looks really pretty right now. Oh yeah, it's, it's a beautiful game if you have good graphics. <laughs> so up here is. I'm where, just impressed that my computer's still not crashed. Is where you actually started up was up here. Oh, that's um, where I started whenever I had yeah, my little. That's the story. Oh okay. Um, you can actually go oh, there still. You, you need to fix it. You just have to climb down. You need, you need to fix that. You're not worried about your car possibly this is level, exploding. This is level one or prestige one, so there's literally cars like every 15. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, like whenever you get to like level six and stuff, yeah, you take care of your vehicles, and most of the time you're gonna be walking. Um, oh, that's in level six. That kind of sucks. Um, well, I walked everywhere in Skyrim because I didn't even know about the fast travel system until after I beat the game. Yeah, this is the closest thing to fast travel they have. Like, the first time I beat the game, I didn't know anything about the fast travel system because I didn't even notice that there was a freaking horse-drawn carriage dude there. I thought he was just a dude that you could go up and kill and take his horse-drawn carriage. And that's all I did. I didn't yeah. actually talk. Yeah, I killed him. You can kill him. Yeah, you can kill him. Or at least you used to be able to. I don't know about. So you were talking about Skyrim. Those, those zombies look like the bandits or whatever. <laughs> the bandits are coming. Sorry, that's from someone else. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you need to get to. This map is huge. Yeah. By the way, I'm actually just gonna drive. You're just gonna drive until you're finished. All right. Do I'm you want to stop it now? No, I'm, I'm actually about to find a faster vehicle in this truck. Well, what about the car you passed by earlier? Uh, that looked like a Firebird. Oh, that one is there, but there's more over here. Oh, okay. There's always... See, that's a bloater right there? As I say. If you run over them, you take damage inside of your view. Is that the same as... It's not the same as a Juggernaut, right? No. Uh, Juggernaut, they will actually pop your tires if you try hitting them. And your huh? car pretty much... Your car goes instantly into this. Oh, wow. This much damage. Just that hitting sucks. Them. And you don't have to hit them hard. It's just a pat. Yeah. Pat. They, they destroy your vehicles. But the how you kill them in a vehicle is you back into them. Oh, so if you just went backwards into it, it would yeah. kill it? Yeah, so, um, your reverse is a lot different than your forward momentum. Uh-huh. So you don't only go so fast whenever you're, um, whenever, so you see how, like, it takes a minute to yeah. start up to go forward? Yeah. But well, when you back up, it's, like, instant speed. Oh, okay, so I get it. he'll stand up, like, whenever you hit him hard enough going, Ooh, um, take that car. That's what I'm doing. I figured that's what you were doing. Whenever you're going at him... Um, he will actually stand back up oh, before you can get enough. Or a charger? It's, or a challenger? Or a charger? I can't tell it. It's an off ramp, but it's it's actually, yeah. I think, a mirror. Is it? I think it's a knockoff. Can I see the front? Yeah, it's straight. 
Oh yeah, it's all Frank Camaro. <laughs> Pretty much. It's a sports car. But like you can see like how beautiful and how big it is. Oh the this sunset looks really nice right now. Well not sunset, but like the cloud formation right now with it. It looks really nice. And you're and you're like an art major, so you really Yeah, I know. I'm it. really appreciating all the graphics that they put into this and how good it is. For its age, this is a really good fucking look. I mean, it's, it's newer than Skyrim. I know that, but I'm saying like they've redone Skyrim like a This is actually times. redone too. Okay. But still, um, like it's it's still looking good. Yeah, this is the year one edition, so they they like re the graphics a little bit. Um, Might added a new engine to it or something. Maybe. It's it's uh they fix a lot of bugs. I think they actually added the trunks. I don't okay. Think they had trunks uh, okay. Do um, you want to get to a stopping point? Yes. This is another city. This is actually a bigger city than we're at. Okay. You're okay. gonna get to a safe building. This it is might actually, also be a Mustang. It's possible, but I think it's. It looks like uh, a Camaro from the front uh, and then the side. It looks like a. Okay, that's a feral zombie. And, and that those thing suckers are. Tear you up. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you back into them? Uh, yeah, you're not fast enough. You have to, like, literally score your car like I just did with them. Okay, because I saw that thing chasing um, you and I'm like, oh shit. Those suckers are agile. <laughs> yeah, you can't actually shoot those. You have to melee them. Oh, if it's an armored? Yeah. Unless it's a cinder, um shotgun, then you're able to shoot. Okay. Uh, I, I waste so much brain cells in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All the brain cells uh, are gone. Because this game doesn't... Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I did that. I so your space is uh, an emergency break? So that's how you drift. I was gonna say that looks like how you drift. And so this car I might use to ever driving, but never drive it. Yeah. Uh, that's a screamer. I, and they I actually, hear. So it's like a witch in a uh, Left 4 Dead. Yes. Actually, I think I bought that for you. Yeah. We played Left 4 Dead for a long time. Uh, this is another home. This is like an in-game home right here. All right. Hey, let's find a place to end it, man. Right, this is how we end it. All right. Um. So, bust up in here. All right. Uh, this is the end game hole, pretty much. All right. I gotta step outside for a minute and take a talk. Oh, you're in there. Yep. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye.